Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I just want to focus on one particular token airdrop. So it's going to be a very short video, but I think quite an important one. If you like this content, please hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Also, please check out the community section. So what I want to talk about today is CD5. I mentioned CD5 fund quite a few times on this channel and I first invested in, in September last year. And what's really important right now is that CD5, well, actually for the last few weeks, CD5 has been mentioning quite a bit about venturing more and more into the NFT space. And recently CD5 announced that there will be a new token coming out, SNFTS, and it won't be available for sale it actually says this somewhere further down this article right here that CD5 will not offer any SNFTS tokens for sale. Instead, they'll be airdropped to all S fund ho token holders on a 20 to 1 basis. So basically for each S fund token you hold, you will get 20 NSFTS tokens. And also there will be an airdrop for OpenSea users and token holders of select partner NFT collections, which are specifically Journey Club and Neo Tokyo. So there are quite a few ways you can get those tokens. If, if you are interested in NFTs, then well, of course, most likely you are trading on OpenSea, so there's pretty good chance that you will be eligible for it. I'm not sure what are the exact requirements. Is it a specific number of transactions or specific volume in Ether that you need to transact or something like that? There are likely to be something along those lines there, but certainly it's, it's good news for most, uh, if not all, OpenSea users. But probably the biggest benefit is to current S fund holders. And if we scroll down, there will be, or in total, there are five uh, snapshots and you will be eligible for them if you are staking your S fund uh, tokens or farming them. So you cannot just simply hold them in your wallet. They, they have to be staked. But if if you are staking them, then essentially there are those five dates and two of those snapshots already took place on the 31st of January and 7th of February. But another three are upcoming. There's one coming tomorrow and then there will be two more later in February, essentially over the next couple of weeks. And basically, depending on the amount of S fund tokens you have staked on those days, you will be eligible for a certain number of, um, of those new SNFTS tokens. So if you have any S-Fund at the moment that it's not staked, it's, I would strongly recommend that you stake it. It takes literally, I don't know, a few seconds. It's really straightforward. And because it's all on Binance Smart Chain, gas fees are pretty much non-existent. So it's definitely worth doing it, especially ahead of the snapshot tomorrow. So, so essentially you are eligible for more uh, tokens during the airdrop. Of course, I have no idea what will be the value of those tokens when they will be airdropped. But, well, it's free money, so whatever they will be worth, it's, it's a good thing. And what I think it's really important here is that CD5 fund is, has been extremely successful in the last few months. They launched, I think, around 40 projects or over 40 projects. I participated in quite a few of their IGOs and, of course, not every IGO is extremely successful, but to be honest, a couple of them were successful enough that, well, it was already well worth it and everything else was just an additional bonus. Um, they are extremely active in the crypto gaming space and they are planning to resolve some, some issues or improve experience when it comes to especially gaming and metaverse centric uh, NFT asset marketplace. So you can read more about this new token and, and the idea behind this project in this article and I will link it in, a, in the description to this video. But considering how successful they've been as a launchpad, CD5 fund as a launchpad, I think this has really strong ch chance of doing really well. And also considering that the narrative for this year seems to be largely basically crypto gaming, metaverse, NFTs, I think this is exactly the type of project worth investing in. And in this case, well, you don't really have to even invest in it. The tokens will be just airdropped. So. If you have any S fund tokens, stake them. If you don't have any, it may be a good idea to buy some so you can stake them and you can then sell them later, whatever. Although I'm quite bullish on, on CD5 in general. But when it comes to this token, I think I will be tempted to hold it or at least majority of it. I'm planning to hold it and see what will happen because at the moment the market is really sketchy. 
I'll be making another video tomorrow about the current market situation, but yeah, it's it's not rocket science. It's it's very much up and down. There is a lot of uncertainty and that's in both NFTs and crypto. So I think at the moment it's it's not a great time to release a new token, as in you cannot probably expect that any new token will perform exceptionally well because the market is what it is currently. But I think as things will hopefully start improving over the next couple of months, I think this can this can do really, really well. So yeah, definitely check it out. Read the, read the article. And yeah, if you can participate in it either via OpenSea or for holding those uh, NFT collect collections, so Journey Club or Neo Tokyo, or for staking S Fund, I I suggest that that you do keep an eye on it because I think it will do really well. So yeah, like I said, really short one today. I just wanted to bring this to your attention in case if you haven't heard about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.